to get started, you need to open up your web browser. I recommend using either Firefox, Safari, or Chrome on your system. Internet Explorer is not recommended. Once your web browser is open, you will need to go to cnm.blackboard.com. Once the website is opened, the first thing you should do is run a browser check to make sure that the browser you are using, as well as the computer you are using, has up-to-date components. Once the browser check is finished, you will receive a listing of the results. As you scroll through the results, you should see green check marks in all of the boxes, except possibly the first one. If the browser check fails, it means more than likely you are using too new of a browser and it has not yet shown up on the supported list for Blackboard. More than likely, things will work just fine. You may now type in your username and password to enter the Blackboard system. The username and password are the same ones you use to access your student account at mycnm.edu. Once you have entered your credentials, you will see a list of the classes in which you are a student, or in my case, an instructor. You should scroll down the list to find the course of interest, in this case a Bio 2310, and click on its title. Once you have clicked on the title of the class, the course shell for that particular class will open. What you are seeing now are the instructor tools. This is what's available to us as instructors. I will now click up at the top of the screen on the student view tab, which I have, to make things look as if I was a student in the class. You can now see that there's a greatly reduced tool set. But over on the right, most importantly, you can see the Wimba Virtual Classroom. All Wimba classrooms will have a similar icon, even though they may have different titles depending on how the instructor has set them up. Once you click on the title for the course, you will take, be taken to the screen where you can enter into the Wimba classroom. Down at the bottom, you see there are phone numbers as well as a PIN code listed. If you do not have a microphone on your computer, you may use this information through a telephone to dial in and be part of the conversation within the virtual classroom. Before using the classroom for the first time, you will want to click on the Setup Wizard button and go through the steps that are listed. If you've already done this once before, it'll go fairly quick. You just need to follow the instructions on screen for testing out your Java system, whether or not you'll be able to do the text chats, as well as if you're going to be able to listen to or provide audio for the class. At this point in the test, Wimba is testing if I can hear the audio that is being provided by the system. It takes a little while to load the audio controls as you noticed. Once they have loaded once, they will load much quicker the next time. Wimba will then check if you have an attached microphone, your ability to talk and have yourself heard within the virtual classroom. Again, this is not an imperative. You can use the toll-free phone number and PIN number if you do not have a microphone. Once you are finished with the setup wizard and click finished, you can now enter into the virtual classroom by clicking on the button enter this room. That button is located in the upper left hand corner. It'll take a few minutes for the Wimba classroom to properly load and then I will give you a tour of some of the different tools available to you as a student.
Now that the virtual classroom has completely loaded, let's take a look at some of the tools that are available to a student in the class. Down here at the bottom there are a series of icons. If you click on the video camera icon, you can either view the video that is being provided in the class by the instructor and the other students, or you can turn on your own video camera and use your video when you are actively speaking. The controls at the bottom of the video window control the video. For audio, you can click on the slider in the center and you can set both the speaker volume on your computer as well as the input volume from your microphone system. When it's time to talk, you will need to push the talk button. If the talk button is not being held down, we will not hear any audio coming from you. The telephone button will provide you again with the phone number and the PIN number needed to call in if you do not have a microphone on your system. And by clicking on the options menu, you can access a whole range of different options for changing how the video and the audio function on your system. If you want to change your video camera input, if you want to switch to a different microphone, all of that can be handled from within this menu. Down at the bottom of the virtual classroom window, there is a listing of all of your instructors and classmates that are present at any particular time. Over on the right hand side are a series of status boxes controlled by the buttons on the bottom, as well as indicators to tell you who has video and who has microphone capabilities enabled. These indicators will change colors dependent upon who is speaking and who is broadcasting at any point in time. The other three columns reflect information coming from the buttons at the bottom of the screen. If an instructor asks you a question, you can answer yes or no, or you can even raise your hand to get the instructor's attention. There are a series of emoticons which can also be put up in one of the status boxes to indicate a number of different states, such as I'm away, I agree, I disagree, could you please slow down, or could you please speed up? In the bottom left hand corner of the Wimba classroom is a text chat box. You can enter things to tell the rest of the class into this box and they will be reflected in the overall chat above. If the box is a little too small for your purposes, you can drag both the side and the top bar, which is a little hard to grab. You can see I miss it a few times here. But in the end, you can make the chat window a little bit bigger so it's easier to see what everybody is saying. When the class is over or when you need to leave, the exit button is located over on the side. Once you've exited the Wimba classroom, you will need to log out from the Blackboard system.